crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, I'm here with some more American Girl items to open. Um, I realized that I don't think I ever did a video of me opening these. I got these back in November. Um, I think it was when I think it was when Indigo was having a sale. Yeah, probably like around Black Friday or something like that. I think they had 20% um, off American Girl stuff. So I got a couple of items here. So we have um, Claudie's Jazzy Flapper and Fur Coat Outfit. Claudie's yellow bloom pajamas and Gwen's powder pink pajamas and these were like extra discounted I guess because well now they're starting to clear out like all the American Girl stuff but I'm just saying at that time this was like extra discounted because I think like since she's from Girl of the Year 2022 like they're trying to clear her stuff out and uh yeah i have realized that i never got gwen's pajamas so okay so let's get started um this is the jazzy flapper and fur coat outfit so we've got this really like poofy soft uh, kind of like a furry shaggy jacket um, kind of like you know it could be for winter um, I wasn't really sure at first if I wanted to get this outfit just because I don't know how you guys feel out there who collect American Girl but I felt like a lot of uh, Claudie's outfits were they didn't really match her age like American girls are supposed to be I believe around 10 11 years old and I just thought that like a lot of her outfits seemed older than that but I know like they were going for I guess like her, I don't know her book. I haven't read her book yet, but I think like she's supposed to be really into theater. Um, so I guess that's sort of why they were going for some of these outfits because they're like outfits you would wear like to perform, but I still thought they were a little bit old. Like even just this coat, I feel like is a little too mature for her, but I thought it would be cute um, to wear, like, you know, as a winter coat. It's lined, which is really nice. Uh, it's sort of that, like, satiny sort of material. Um, it, the, it almost reminds me of a poodle, if I'm being honest. Like, poodle's fur. Like, that's sort of the look it's giving. Like, shaggy dog. <laughs> um... And then the dress is a nice, uh, I would call this more sort of like an aqua color or a blue. It's like a cross between an aqua color, aqua or a blue. Um, and it's just sort of like a satiny feel. Um, it's got lace collar. A lace collar there sort of like a high neck collar and then it's got lace coming down the, the sleeves it's a sleeveless dress too um, and then it comes across here and there's some lace across here and then at the bottom it's all lacy and very detailed actually 
the quality is really good. Um, given that American Girl's quality is like hit and miss lately, but I feel like this is really well made. Um, and then it comes with a bow that's the same color as the dress. Um, and it's just a clip in, has a little alligator clip sort of thing. So you can clip the bow in. Um, and then it's got these little faux, I don't know what you would call that, patent leather material, I guess. Um, little black shoes. They're almost like sandals, actually, because there's no toe. There's nothing in the toe. It's just like a strappy shoe in the front. So that's that outfit. Um, and I think it's cute. It's very well made. And I just thought it would be like a cute little dressy outfit for her. Um, I know her era is what? She's from 1922. So that's like the flapper dress sort of era. Um, and here is a picture of her on the box wearing it. Um, so you can get a better idea. So I thought it was cute. I mean, I still think it's a little mature for her, but it's not as bad as some of the other pieces in her collection. So I thought that would be cute. And for some reason, I don't know what's up with this picture that they put on the box, but... I feel like that doesn't really look like Claudia's face. I feel like her face is a lot prettier in person than what's coming up on this box. I don't know if this is like, um, maybe this is a photo from like when they were still working on her. I don't know. Like it just, to me, it doesn't really look like her, but anyways, um, the next one is Claudie's yellow bloom pajamas and um, I actually went and opened this recently already because when I realized that um, American Girl was clearing or sorry Indigo was clearing out their American Girl stuff I thought I should probably go ahead and open these just to check that there's no issues with them because if there was, um, I needed to see about like exchanging or whatever. And as you're about to see in a moment, there is a slight issue with these pajamas. And unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do about it except try to wash them and hope and pray that the stain comes out because, um, I actually visited a couple of Indigo and Chapter stores recently because when I heard that they were clearing out, um, I just wanted to see if I could find anything that wasn't on the website because I found out that like you can't take the website as like holy grail for what stores have. Um, there's a lot of stuff that the stores may have that are not even listed on the website. So I thought when I went to do that, I brought these pajamas with me just in case they had some in the store that I could exchange it with. And none of them had, I think like Claudia's stuff was sold out of every store, unfortunately. So um, we're about to see this thing. It's a very minor thing and I have a feeling it might wash out because I did try to just like, wet my finger and rub it and it did fade so i i think it should wash out but um we'll see so basically what i'm saying is these pajamas came with a little stain on them and um hold on guys this is coming out really bright Okay, so as you can see, um, it's a one piece. 
I love the color of it. It's a very nice, um, it's not like a super bright yellow. It's a little bit of a paler yellow, but also not super pale. It's like a nice in-between. Um, it's got this cute little Peter Pan color. There's a little um, pocket and it is not a fake pocket. Like you can actually get your finger in there. It is, uh, oh, it does Velcro down the back, even though the front shows buttons, they're fake. They're just three yellow buttons that go down. The waist is elastic here, or sorry, there's four buttons, and the waist is elastic, and then it has a, a, a belt, but it's already attached, and you can unbutton that, uh, I guess, to help get it on. And then the pant, the it's like long pants. The top part itself is short sleeve, and it's got this nice little ruffle edge to it. The pants have a ruffle edge at the bottom as well that is elastic to help um, get it over the feet, and the sleeve one is not elastic. Um, but it also has these little, um, it's got a floral print on it. They're light purple flowers. They're looking more white on camera, uh, but they are a light purple flower print. So anyways, I don't know how well this is gonna show on camera, but here is the stain right there. Now, like I said, it has faded a little bit, but um, yeah, so I'm going to have to try and see if I can wash that out. I hope it will come out because I can't exchange it because I don't think Indigo has this in stock anymore. I looked on their website. It's not listed there. I've checked three different Indigo stores and none of them have it in stock. So there's no way for me to ex exchange it. Uh, I guess I could, if worse comes to worse, I guess I could get a refund um, because I think I'm still within the refund window for their thing. And th but then if, uh, but if I wanted these, I would have to then go and repurchase them from like the American website, which would suck because then you're dealing with like currency conversion and all that crap. So I'm going to do my best. It's such a small stain. Like I'm hoping it's something that will come out. If I just use like a, I might even try using like a tide stick on it and just see, hopefully it washes out. Um, and then the next piece is her, uh, what do they call this? It is a headscarf. Uh, so it's a light purple satin. It's got the tie already tied at the back. Um, it feels like it has a bit of stuffing in here or something. It feels like there's something in there. It might just be the... Um, Oh, it might just be like the way it's tied there. But anyways, that goes over her head, um, <clears throat> over her hair. And then you have these adorable fleecy white um, bunny slippers. They have little bunnies on them. And this one, okay, so I'm kind of curious about this because this has been the newest thing with American Girl is to include a little pamphlet that shows Claudia wearing her pajamas, sitting on her bed. Um, and then, you know, it says time for bed and it's got her there. Um, and then it gives like a little blurb about Claudia and stuff like that. And American Girl's generally been including these little pamphlets with the outfit, but there was not a pamphlet in the jazzy flapper outfit. 
So that's interesting. Um, almost makes me wonder if that was a returned item and whoever returned it forgot to put the pam pamphlet back in it. Huh. Very strange. I don't know. Because I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't have a pamphlet in there with it. Because that seems to be their newest thing that they're doing. So I would think that would have been in there. I mean, who knows anymore the way Indigo is going. Someone posted in the Canadian American Girl group the other day that they ordered uh, an American Girl outfit from Indigo. And it arrived with like, they, they went to open their outfit and the box was empty. And if, and I feel like when I read that, I feel like I had that happen to me once before. I swear I did. That I ordered something from Indigo. It came, I go to open it and the box was empty. And I took it back and they let me exchange it. I'm sure that happened to me at one time too. Um, I had completely forgotten about it until that person mentioned it happened to them. <laughs> so anyways, this is going to be the final box. And this is Gwen's Powder Pink Pajamas. And I'll open them up. And then I think that's it. I think I've got all of Gwen's stuff. These are cute. They are really, really cute. It is a long sleeve cotton, um, cotton shirt. And are these real buttons? No, they are fake buttons. There's three pink fake buttons down the bottom. So it does Velcro at the back. And it is sort of like a, oh, it's got a little pocket, corner pocket. And the pocket has a snowflake on it. And the snowflake is, I'd say that's very much like a vinyl applied on there. Um, it's got a cute little scalloped sort of color. And the color scheme is all pastels. It's got blue, purple, pink, yellow like a peachy orange, all like, it almost gives the, um, the look of ice, I guess is what they're going for because they are a whole like ski slash ice skating themed thing. Um, so I think they're kind of going for the look of like ice crystals or something like that. The pants are the same material, same print with just an elastic waist, very simple. And then you have purple slippers and they're kind of furry and they have embroidered, is it embroidered? Yeah, embroidered silver snowflake on each one on the toe area. So that's Gwen's PJs. Super adorable. And I guess that's it. So there's those. Um, so yeah, uh, I think they're all excellent quality, well made. Um, I like the prints and everything. So if you're thinking of getting any of these, um, go out and get them. I know the American Girl website, like the US one, has no problem with stock. As far as I can remember, they don't have any problem with stock on these. Maybe Gwen's might be getting low just because she is from the Girl of the Year 2022 line. So if you're really wanting anything from Corinne's line, you should get it now before they sell out because once they sell out you know they're going to end up on ebay for like double or triple the price um so anyways guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye